Paleface Adios coming strongly now. It's Hondo Grattan. Paleface Adios, three quarters of the way, hanging out but running up well. Into the straight, Hondo Grattan is driver keeping it clear. Paleface Adios, driver goes to the whip, then King Cross looking for a way through. Hondo Grattan hard driven. Paleface Adios on the outside. King Cross in on the rail. Paleface Adios out wide, Hondo Grattan fighting back. Hondo Grattan may have just beaten Paleface. Hondo Grattan was known as the Bathurst Bulldog, and what he lacked in size was made up for in courage and toughness. He was raced by Tony Turnbull in partnership with brothers Bill and Bob Webb, who were farmers at Tirana near Bathurst. Hondo Grattan's career was to blossom as a three-year-old in winning 17 of his 21 starts, including the New South Wales Sires Produce Stakes. Well, Tony, how do you reckon you describe Hondo Grattan? Well, he would be the best horse that ever looked through a bridle. Uh, you're a little bit biased, I suppose, <laughs> but a lot of people would agree with you. Was he always going to have that full potential from the first time you ever saw the horse? Well, when we broke him in, he never did nothing wrong, and as each time we brought him in, he just kept him getting better. The Bulldog went from strength to strength, and in the 1973 Inter-Dominion Championships held at Harold Park, Hondo Grattan was successful in each of his three heats and was accordingly installed as favourite for the final of the big event. Grattan holding just too good in a pocket, waiting for the last run. Then Royal Ascot, Reichman out wide. Uh, Gramercy blocked for a run. Arapaho, welcome advice at the rear of the field. Old Bayham, he squeezed out. Arapaho going along the rails, and uh, uh, that's the order on the top turn. Hondo Grattan moves up to challenge Jason King, and out wide, Royal Ascot joining in. Hondo Grattan has gone to the lead. Royal Ascot on the outside, Jason King on the inside, dropped off. Gramercy will come down the outside, just too good, blocked for a run. Hondo Grattan, Royal Ascot. Ascot, Glamour Chief rattling home out wide. Royal Ascot doing a little the better. Hondo Grattan hanging on on the inside. It's going to be awfully close. Oh, Hondo Grattan or oh, Royal Ascot, Glamour Chief or oh, just as good. Tony and Hondo Grattan were honoured at the presentation by Prime Minister Gough Whitlam and his wife Margaret. The courageous win put Hondo Grattan into an elite group of pacers who have gone through the series undefeated. The following month saw him victorious in the Lord Mayor's Cup off a 12-yard handicap. There's Hondo Grattan coming around the mouth, but he's got a big task ahead of it, but it's finishing strongly. Dylan Light, welcome advice, wants to go quicker. Nicotine Prince, Hondo Grattan further back. Dylan Light could be win this. He's run his own race in front. Cyril Cappen goes to the whip. Welcome advice, challenging. Then Nicotine Prince, four wide, Hondo Grattan. What a great race. Dylan Light hard driven, welcome advice, one out, Nicotine Prince three wide joining it, then Hondo Grattan, Nicotine Prince welcome advice beaten, Hondo Grattan flashing down the outside, Nicotine Prince has the lead though, and Nicotine Prince just lost the beat fast finishing Hondo Grattan. The winner, after a photo, on the outside, got up on the last stride, number eight, Hondo Grattan. The following year, Tony Turnbull and his champ made the long trip across to the west in search of gold for a second time in the 1974 Inter-Dominion at Gloucester Park. But ironic fate was to play a large part in the race when Just Too Good, driven by Keith Pike, fell, bringing down another Tamora horse, champion Paleface Adios, which was driven by his brother Colin. The race was left with only four contestants after two other rangemen were thrown from their sulkies as a result of the fall. They're in the final circuit now, swinging towards the back, and Wills is making every post a winner on Brett Armour. He's going fast in front by two lengths from Yalara, a half a length to Hondo Grattan, finding it hard to get round Yalara, and a length and a quarter further back to Adios Victor, which is going to be eased round the outside. Brett Armour in front as they go to the 400 metre mark, but there's Hondo Grattan throwing out a strong challenge round the outside, only a length from the leader, a length and a half to Adios Victor, and Yalara is dropping back beaten, and the other two Royal Gays and Haddock can't win. Around the turn, 250 metres to run, Brett Armour's just in front of Hondo Grattan, right round the outside, Adios Victor with a brilliant run, and Yalara's well back. In the straight, 150 metres to go. Hondo Grattan goes to the front from Brett Armour. Here's Adios Victor down the outside, finishing fast. Hondo Grattan fighting on, and he's going to win two consecutive grand finals. Hondo Grattan by three quarters of a length from Adios Victor. Tony Turnbull and Hondo Grattan had achieved a feat not previously recorded by any other pacer. Back-to-back Inter-Dominion finals. We didn't expect to win when we left home, and because he was off the back mark, he only just scraped into the final, but he... He still was unlucky in the heats, but he uh, was a great thrill when I won it, mm -hmm. and shock. 
Tony Turnbull and Hondo Grattan had achieved a feat not previously recorded by any other pacer, back-to-back Inter-Dominion finals. Soon after their successful Perth campaign, the duo returned to their home state for the 1974 Miracle Mile. Up the back straight, 500 metres to go, and pale-faced Adios is still holding the lead. Hondo Grattan is second, then Mitchell Victory, and others a long way back, right when Apollo 11 and King Frost. Uh, they've just about two-minute mile at the moment. Pale-faced Adios, Hondo Grattan waiting for the last run, then Mitchell Victory, right when a long way back in the race, King Frost and Apollo 11. Pale-faced Adios holds the lead. Hondo Grattan out of the whip in second place. The driver of Pale-Face Adios gives it a flick with a whip. It's holding off Hondo Grattan. Pale-Face Adios, Hondo Grattan coming now. Hard driven Pale-Face Adios, Hondo Grattan joins him on the outside. Oh, this is close. Hondo Grattan first. The tough little champion continued on his winning way and in 1975 took out his second Lord Mayor's Cup from a handicap of 25 metres. Out wide Hondo Grattan, uh, Armbro Jody going around them from Apollo 11 and uh, uh, Just Too Good has dropped out of the rear. Uh, coming to the straight now and Greendale Du Bois has moved up on the outside of Flying Hill. Uh, Hondo Grattan has moved into third place, they're under on the rail and Armbro Jody for unwinding a big run down the outside. Flying Hill, Grindale Boy has beaten, Hondo Grattan the danger in the centre and Armbro Jody down the outside, Flying Hill, Hondo Grattan goes to the lead and beats the fast finishing Armbro Jody. During the 1974-75 season, Hondo Grattan became the first standard bred to top $200,000 in prize money. The Bathurst Bulldog was to contest his last race on the 19th of March 1976 in the Hurricane Stakes at Harold Park. Captain Harcourt, Hondo Grattan coming on again. He's calling for an effort from Hondo. It's Hark uh, Captain Harcourt, Hondo Grattan on the outside. Captain ha Harcourt, Hondo Grattan takes the lead. A great cheer from the crowd. King Cross rattling down the outside. It's Hondo Grattan holding a narrow lead. And Hondo Grattan beats King Cross, great and good third. Hondo Grattan finished on a winning note. And on the 7th of May, his loyal fans gathered to say farewell to a courageous little horse who had lived up to the name of the Bathurst Bulldog.